Hey there, it's Brad with Norland Ram here. This is the 2015 Jeep Grand Cherokee Summit. So it's a 5.7 liter engine. I'm really hoping this music doesn't get a copyright strike, but Hemi V8. Runs great. Low miles on this one. Oh, let's close that properly. There we go. Really nice vehicle all around. You can see new brakes in the front. 20 inch wheels. New brakes in the back. They got a little bit of rust from being on the lot, but that'll come off. Good tires. Shutter on the back. Down here, this releases. If I can, oh, it's a little tight. And you'll have, yeah, there is. So there's a hitch receiver in behind there with your four and seven wiring. It's just a little hard to undo one-handed. Shot down here. I'll highlight any damages or anything at the end, just so that's all visible. It does have some nicks and scratches. It is nine years old, um, but nothing too excessive. Let's go inside. So you have keyless entry right here. You've got your blind spot monitoring in the mirror right there. So it is a summit, so it is fully loaded. Harman Kardon stereo, memory seat, power folding mirrors, power windows. You've got power seat with adjustable lumbar. You've got the summit light up trim on the door there, the door sill. Here, we'll start, start this up. Runs nicely, actually I should have popped the hood. Just pop that hood. Of course I'm struggling to find it now. There we go. Smooth running engine. 5.7 liter. Okay, let's shut it off. 110,385 kilometers. Try to turn this on here. Mute that. So you've got your radio here. You'll have the CSX, MAM, FM, Bluetooth. And the controls here. I don't know if it's going to do it. There we go. So you've got your heated seat, your ventilated seat, and your heated steering wheel. Um, oh, sorry, navigation in it as well. Coming down here, you've got, let's stop that dinging. You've got uh, dual zone controls. You've got your uh, park sensors, rear park sensors, forward collision avoidance on and off, eco mode on and off, and then your traction control on and off. There's your shifter. Down here you have your selectable drive modes. So you've got auto where it'll do all the work for you. Oh, it won't turn when it's not running. Uh, sand, snow, mud, and rock modes. It's got air suspension on it, so you can lift and lower the vehicle right here. And that will actually drop the vehicle right down um, to get in and out or lift it right up for off-roading and stuff. Actually, what I'll do, I guess I can't drop it without it running. I was just gonna bring it down into the park position so I can show that it does work. Four wheel drive low, hill descent control. Just let that go down a little bit. I'll shut it off. So it's, you've got the uh, the park park mode, normal driving mode, off road one, off road two. Off road two will kick you out of off road two once you go over a certain speed. I believe it's around 30 kilometers an hour. The other seat's in good condition. A little wear on the seat on the edge, but no rips or tears. Into the back. You've got DVD. On both sides. You've got DVD, and you've got HDMI ports and AV ports on both seats for HDV. Or you've got a DVD player in here, and it's got the remote for it too. 
Down here, you've got your heated rear seats, USB, uh, USB plugs in the back, converter in the back. Back seats are in excellent condition. You've got the moonroof. It's in good shape, no chips or cracks. And the suede headliner. Come back here, power lift gate. Okay, cargo mat. Down underneath here, full size spare, tons of storage. As I mentioned, Harman Kardon stereo, so you get the subwoofer in the back. And then you see there's a cargo net back here too. Now let's go around and look at any imperfections on this vehicle. We'll start up over here and then end back in the same spot. So front's pretty good here. There's a couple little, little scratches there. Yeah, that is a chip. There's a couple little chips. Same up here, chip there. And I saw another one right there. If I can get in the light. But there's, there's a number of other small chips across the front. Looks like a light scratch right there. It's kind of hard to see the rock chips with the sun glaring, but they're not terrible, but there is some there. Lights are in good shape. There's, there's a little bit of hazing that, that'll happen with the, um, just the heat from the headlamps. A little bit on both sides. Doesn't affect the headlamp function. Again, all the tires are good. Brakes are all brand new. Slight scratch there. Fucking really hard to see it here. Yeah, right along there, and then there's a second one light beside it. Down here, small one there. And then there's small, what looks like a door dang right there. Down here, small trip there. The camera's having a hard time focusing. And a little ding there. Back here, there's a little road rash. This happens on most SCVs where they're flared out. Um, these are 3M pieces though, that are there to protect the paint. But there is a couple higher up, and then you've got a couple door dings right in there. It's kind of hard to focus, but couple in there and then a ding right there. See, show it from far away too, so you can see what it actually looks like walking by the vehicle. Pretty good around here, not really any scuffs on the bumper, maybe it's a little tiny scratch there. This is all just dirt. Not any really chips or scratches across the bumper. Just a little dirt on the on the park sensor. And some really light scratches right there. It's a black car, so it's going to show everything. It looks like a small ding right there. And then again, a little bit of that road rash on the on the quarter here. Again, 3M there and down there to protect it. There's a little dent right there, and then a little chip right there. A small scratch on the door, and a small scratch down there. At the bottom of the door is nothing too bad, maybe a little chip there, yeah. And then up on the fender, there is a scratch there into the plastic, and then a small one there. A lot of these probably would come out with a polish. Um, they don't actually look that bad. They're not, they're not a lot of deep ones. Obviously this one's in the plastic, but that would probably come out if you wanted to polish it. Most of that would probably come out. Like that would come out. Like it's, I'll try to get a good, if it's not really deep enough to catch it on your finger. Same with that. So I mean, if I wanted to polish it, it would probably look 10 times better. Get a good shot of it again. But yeah, that is our 2015 Grand Cherokee Summit.